here we are with Edge Runner episode 8. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. Arasaka. <laughs> right in front of him. Okay. Ah, oh, man, dude. Damn corpus. But yeah, I'm very curious what happened or what's going on with Lucy from last from the end of last episode. Oh. David? Is he getting cyber psychosis? Hmm? Okay, I'm confused. I'm very confused. Why do they go? I guess they go into Arasaka for a gig, right? For a job. Um, but why was he so stressed out after killing him? And then he just kills another person, comes back and is like, Chill, bro. Okay. I'm confused. At first I thought maybe it's like cyber psychosis that he... Maybe that's what it is. Maybe he didn't... Maybe he lost control for a second, killed him, then came back. And was like, oh shit, what did I do? And that's why he was so stressed out. I don't know. <clears throat> I guess we have to wait and see. Or maybe he said he lost signal, so maybe someone controlled him. What if maybe Lucy controlled him, hacked into him, and pulled the trigger? Because his eyes was also, like, glowing, right? And, I mean, we know that Lucy is, like, I guess, kind of against Arasaka. Oh boy.
Yep, I guess this is bad. Because this is a fixer that gave us a job that is with Militech and Arasaka, right? Okay. Not a secure car. <clears throat> so maybe we went to Arasaka because of this guy, because he has some job with Militech and Arasaka, right? Oh, one of those tracking guns. <laughs> It's so nice to see all of that stuff, like, from the game. Okay. I mean, that's the life of the middleman, right? He can command the ones under him, but he gets commanded by them, by those that are over him. Hello. I guess it's the cyber psychosis, right? He's still shaking a bit. That's not good. Or maybe it's not cyber psychosis. But maybe he's just a bit stressed out from what happened. Which might be cyber psychosis or not. And yeah, we know this in two from the game, I guess. Cyber skeleton. Damn. That got his attention.
Hmm. Oh. <clears throat> God damn. <clears throat> Is he going to Kiwi so that she maybe rats them out or something? Oh my god. <sighs> I'm wondering if it's because of cyber psychosis or not. Yeah, I want to know. Exactly. She needs to know if there are risks because of cyber uh, psychosis or something like that. What is this? Mm -hmm. So to look for her, I guess, maybe? Or maybe the old net or whatever. Back again here. Oh, this oh flashback. Uh huh. <clears throat> Oh, is he seeing, I, I guess he's seeing shit. Mm, I guess because of psy psychosis, maybe? It's the same shit he saw that Jimmy did to him, right? Where the shit comes out of your limbs and all that shit, and all that stuff. I guess it's psychopsychosis. 
That's what it seems to me when he sees random shit. Oh my god, he's glittering. Man, this sucks so much. I mean, did he forget what happened to Maine? I mean, you can take it slower. You don't have to go all out. If it kills you. No, you're not. Yes. That's what he thinks. Yes.
Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think, but yeah. Turned out it was cyber, uh, cyber psychosis that. Uh, or David, right? That's why he was stressed out. In this episode at the beginning, that's why he was shaking the last episode. Man, it sucks. And it, it, it seems like he completely forgot what happened to Maine because it was the same thing for Maine, right? And, but yeah, it seems like he thinks. One. He thinks he's special, that he can take it. And two, he's like, yeah, my mother wanted to, for me to have a good life and main wanted to have basically like brought me over, right? And now I'm taking over his work, basically his dream, whatever. And so it's, it's kind of like he puts all the burden on himself and that's why he wants to be better and stronger and all that stuff so that he can basically deliver on that but and he thinks like i said he thinks he's special and it's just not good right because it's just i mean what does it bring you to do all of that stuff to chrome up get stronger get all the upgrades if it basically makes you go insane or kills you right so there's no point, right? And then, yeah, we have, like, the fixer, uh, what's his name? Paradi or whatever, um, yeah. Militech, he's working with Militech, obviously, which is against Arasaka. And apparently, it's about the cyber skeleton, which is, like, something, a secret project from Arasaka. Um... And yeah, it seems like that uh, Lucy maybe got information about that because that was also something that was breached in the data, I guess, because Tanaka knew about it and they uh, hacked into Tanaka, right? And now, obviously, Arasaka is looking for the person that did that and also killed some other netrunners, which was Lucy, for example, in the last episode at the end, right? I guess those people maybe look into this whole case, right? Trying to find who did that, and so, which is basically Lucy, so they are basically after Lucy, and because it's Arasaka, and she was a test subject from Arasaka, it's basically looking into Lucy double, right? One time because she did this now to, ta to Tanaka, and one because she was part of Arasaka, like, long, long ago. And... <clears throat> yeah. It becomes kind of obvious, right? I mean, when something happens over and over and over again, like what Lucy did, right? Attacking Arasaka Netrunner. That at some point, they just lay a trap, right? And especially now with Kiwi, Kiwi's help, right? They said, as soon as Paradine or Faradine or whatever talked to Kiwi, I was like, yep. He's using her to rat out the others, right, Lucy? And yep, that's what happened. They laid a trap. Someone accessed the net or whatever. That alert. That alerts uh, Lucy. She went after him to kill him, so that no one comes after her. Or and it was a trap from Kiwi, and now she got zapped. And we have two episodes left. But man, the whole, the whole end with David attacking the Ripper dog, because where he's just like, yeah, then give me better mats, stronger mats, right? It's, it's so sad. And then everything that happened afterwards with David and Lucy. It's just something I don't want to see because I like David, I like Lucy, I like them together, right? Because, I mean, it reminds me of Cyberpunk, the game, when you have, like, the whole Judy storyline, basically, right? It's kind of similar. Judy is like, does, ed edits the brain dances, right? And then the whole stuff happens where this one girl, I forgot her name, um, but that she got along with and that she we work together to... Um, Infiltrate Arasaka at the beginning, right? The beginning mission, basically. Um, she died, and then more shit happens, and Judy is part of it, right? Helps you and everything. 
where we where we basically search her because she got like um kidnapped or whatever and then we find her getting like getting like i don't know i think uh abuse or whatever in this one uh underground facility where they do brain dances and all that shit and then we try to get her out but she i think she died anyways and then judy is basically like yeah i'm done with this city right and she just wants out and that reminds me a bit of lucy right where she also like she she would like to get out but she can't really because she's basically on the run and hiding from arasaka and they basically have eyes everywhere so she feels like the best way to hide from them is in night city and so she doesn't want to be there but she kind of has to and it feels similar with judy i would say and yeah it just sucks and yeah she has still like some stuff that she doesn't tell davis and i guess at this point david isn't liking that right because he's like because he wants lucy to come back but she doesn't want that right now because she has other stuff to deal with and she is not telling him everything and he's just so out of himself because of all the chrome he has in him that it messes with his mind that he is at this point where he's like she is like talking to me about what i shouldn't do and should do and when i talk to her and want her back and everything she's just saying no 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 and all that stuff that he's at the point where it's like okay then maybe we should just go our different ways right because he's just not of clear mind i mean i guess he wants to be with her right but he's also like at this point where he's just frustrated uh, frustrated i guess and just has a like hazy mind right now with all that stuff that is going on um that is just one of those thing things where it is you say something that you don't actually mean right you just say it in the heat of the moment and then obviously lucy gets the notification that someone accessed the shit right and has to go after that guy and then it looks to david like okay she's running right but she wants to come back and says okay wait for me when i come home then we can talk and now she won't come back home it's one of those cliche things right someone says hey just wait for me i have to go right now but hey wait for me and then i come when i come back then we can talk and then the person isn't coming back because something happens and we have two more episodes so it will be interesting to see what happens i hope there will be a happy end right I mean, also David is like completely shutting himself off from everyone else, right? Becca wants to talk to him and he's like, nah, 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 don't want to talk. It's, it's not your concern. But it very much is because they're working together in jobs that are like about life and death. So if he spaces out or some, uh, something because something is not right with him, then it endangers the others. So in that sense, she kind of has to know what is up, right? So that she can consider, is it is it safe to work with him or could i die because he is not doing his job it's just very unfortunate <laughs> everything that is going on right now <clears throat> i hope for a happy end and i hope that it's not a conclusive happy end but that it also could lead to a season two that's what i hope for but because the cyberpunk world is very dark and can be pretty unforgiving. I can see that maybe David is dying at the end because of cyber psychosis or something, that he goes just wild and dies or something, or that he maybe dies while rescuing Lucy, or that maybe Lucy dies. All kinds of things could happen. But yeah, we will see two more episodes. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching until next time. Bye-bye.